Hi everybody, it's me. I am making my video blog for Friday the 16th of November. We actually, I shot today, I went to the set and today was an open day and what that means is that's when we go back and visit the house um, and see the final changes that have been made. So it's kind of cool because I'm the only one of the crew that gets to see the house in the before state, I don't see it in the middle, and then I come after everything's been done. So it's kind of cool because I go in there and in the beginning and I walk through and I tear their house apart. You know, for example, where did this room come from? It surely doesn't belong in this house. It looks like it might have been morphed in from a trailer park. I mean, and that's really how I felt about this particular room in one of these houses. And it's so funny because the people are next door and they're like looking at this little video camera and they're at this little DVD or you know, you're on the screen and they're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she's saying that about our house. But I don't mean any harm, I'm just trying to, you know, help you get a really, really needed makeover <laughs> for your house. But it's kind of fun though. And anyway, today is the day that we go on set and see the final product. So today is a real happy day. It's like a group hug day because the homeowners are happy, you know, um, the crew is happy because all the work is done and all the blood, sweat, and tears and cussing is out of the way. And, you know, and then the homeowners are happy to see me because they're like, oh, it looks so beautiful and, you know, the changes that you suggested are really nice. So it's great. It's just a happy day. It's a day for love. <laughs> so um, it went really, really well. And in this particular house, it was a church, an old church. It used to be a church. And it had a lot of character. We redid the basement and it was two, it was two separate areas in the basement, but they kind of were unidentified space. And now there's one area is a bar, so you can entertain over there and have music and the basement has a lot of natural light. And the other area is like an entertainment center with a den and chairs and so it's really a functional area now and then they did some things to some unusable space or underutilized space in the backyard which now it looks really beautiful so the homeowners were really happy and i mean the crew the you know the carpenter guys they did a wonderful job so it all turned out well it's all good um, the homeowners did have this dog and his name was Oscar. He was a French bulldog. He was so cute, but he was so fat. <laughs> he was like a little sausage with legs and he walked around and, uh, and he like was always like looking to see for looking for food and he grunted. He was like, you know, and kind of snorted if he thought you had food, but he was so, so cute. Um, Anyway, and then after that, after I finished shooting, I went to the office and had a really good day there. Very productive because I had two um, calls come in. One was a referral who's ready to buy, um, referred by a good friend of mine. Another one was a call from an ad I placed in Creative Loafing, advertising townhomes that I have listed. So it was really, really good because both sets of buyers are ready to roll. Um, then, after I left the office, I went to Cafe Dupree, which is Jermaine Dupree's um, eating establishment, and it's really nice. It has a little, nice little ambiance and good atmosphere, and the food's pretty good. I had uh, fried green tomatoes, and the tomatoes, the only thing I would say is they were cut a little thick. They were sliced like beefsteak tomatoes. I mean, they were about that thick. And, um, but the, what they were garnished with was very interesting. They were like little tiny baby shrimp with, um, very, very spicy, you know, taste to them. And I don't know what they were seasoned with, but it was like really spicy and it was very good. Um, so, I mean, overall the dish was good and the presentation was really good. And I also had the pasta Dupree, which is like fettuccine with like a red Cajun sauce and 
chicken, cut up chicken breast. And the chicken was really tender and the food overall was pretty good. Um, they just give you a lot. So I ended up with a doggy bag and I'm so bad about eating leftovers. Just because sometimes when I reheat them, they just don't taste the same. I kind of think, wow, this tasted really good originally, but that was about it. <laughs> so I don't know how those leftovers are going to fare. They may end up really being left over and then being disposed of. So we'll see. But I will give you my take on some leftovers. I love leftover meatloaf. It is to die for. So good. And then leftover spaghetti, cold spaghetti, oh my gosh, love it. So that's my take on leftovers. I am pretty beat because I've had a really long day and I'm home ready to relax. I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to watch Law and Order. Dun dun. So <laughs> that's like one of my favorite shows outside of Design to Sell. So that's about it guys and I'm out and that's all folks have a good night bye